You guys, I have the biggest haul for you. You don't even know. I have two huge boxes from Riley Rose. If you guys aren't familiar with Riley Rose, they are a cosmetic store that has hair, makeup, skincare, candy, pretty much like everything girly and pink and glittery and fun. They feature like a lot of K-beauty brands and a lot of indie makeup brands that you only see on Instagram. It's literally like an Instagram feed. Hello? It's literally like an Instagram feed, but IRL. Stop it. They have 10 stores across the nation. So if you live near one, you have to go. There's one in LA and I've been to it and it's absolutely amazing and like overwhelming, but in the best way. But don't worry if you don't live near one because they also have an online store. So you can shop all the things that like you see on Instagram, but don't find in store. They have it like all on this one website and it's amazing. Also check out their Instagram because it's just like, Mwah. anyway, so you're probably looking at me and you're like, what's happening with your face? Like you never look like this. Well, I was playing around with all of the things I have in the box and I did like a Riley Rose inspired look. It's very pink and glittery. Wow. What this is, I will get to it in a second because yeah, I know. So I'm partnering with Riley Rose for this video to show you guys things they have to offer at the store. Ah, when they reached out to me, I was literally like, yeah, I don't think I ever replied to an email faster. Right now they have a lot of like music festival stuff because it's almost like festival season. This is the closest I'll ever get to being at a music festival. You know, if you're ever hoping to like run into me at Coachella, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but you can catch me at Trader Joe's wearing these for sure. So let's just dig right into it. <clears throat> these are Gypsy Shrine um, face stickers. They're basically jewels. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. These, I'm pretty sure, are for your breasts. Um, you can catch me at Trader Joe's in these as well. Those are really cool, so you don't have to like individually glue them on. They're just like one big sticker. This is a makeup palette, an eyeshadow palette by Pinky Rose, um, and it's called Rustic Rose, and that is what I have on my eyes today. Look at this huge palette. These are mostly mattes. There's some shimmers down here. These are super super smooth matte eyeshadows because I feel like a lot of matte eyeshadows can be really chalky these were amazing I am currently wearing this color in the crease mixed with this one and then this one on the lid this one on the inner corner and I cannot wait to use this one in particular I don't see a lot of eyeshadows in that color and that's just such a cool you know like barf it looks like barf <laughs> and I love it Look at this rollerball perfume baton. Okay, I uh, I have a hidden talent of baton twirling. Um, this, okay, this is not the right length or weight. So can't really debut my, my talent for you right now, but um, it's super cute and there's rollerball perfumes in it. It's a pin, pin rose by pin rose. They also have this little travel pack and they're per by Pin Rose as well and they're perfume wipes and they come in this little iridescent pouch and um, they're just like wet wipes that you can just like blot on, throw them in your purse, you're good to go. And they come in a bunch of different scents. They're, I'm not gonna name them. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff from Suva Beauty, which I had never heard from before. Again, a lot of indie brands that you only see on Instagram. So a lot of these were new to me. This is what I have on my cheeks right now. Is that not insane? This is a, it's called Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. So these are really similar to like this Cover FX ones. Um, I think Armani has some, a bunch of different brands have them. Um, and it's just a liquid, super pigmented highlighter. You can just use it straight from the bottle and dab it on, which is what I did. You can mix a couple drops into your moisturizer or a foundation and give that more like illuminated look. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot because I love a dewy, glowy finish. Also sent me three of their cake liners, which this one, I'll show you this one, it's called uh, Rose Gold. And they're cake liners, so they're dry products. You put a couple drops of water and then it turns into like a liquid or cream. So those are nice because they will last you forever. They don't dry out or anything because you have to activate it by adding water. And they threw in their eyelining, uh, eyeliner brush, 
and um, it looks really good and really pointy and thin, which is how I like it. These are some shadow shields that they have. I really need these because I always do my face makeup first and then my eyes, and I often, you know, get fallout. And so these are great because I just really like, I don't like doing my eyes first because I, it just feels like unfinished and then I don't know if the eyes look good because my skin doesn't like match, you know what I mean? Anyway, so these are great because you can just pop them under your eyes and it catches all the fallout and then you just take them off and your makeup's perfect. Got some stuff by LA Splash here. This is a liquid lipstick and it's called Wickedly Divine. And it has like a really interesting packaging. It looks like... Um, this looks like it's like a matte black sleek packaging has like a little ruby on top. This is called Queen of Heart well, I was gonna say it reminds me of the Queen of Hearts. Wow, okay, and um, it's a matte lipstick, and it's like a dark here. I'll swatch it Ooh, That's pretty I always swatch it in the most awkward position. So it's just like a super dark red also a gloss This one has like a little pink gem on top. This is so cute I swatched this earlier, and I'm gonna swatch it for you now this is the most pigmented gloss, one of the most pigmented glosses I've ever seen. Like, it doesn't look like you need to wear anything underneath it. I'm pretty sure even if you did, it wouldn't show up because that's opaque. Also smells good. This I'm wearing right now, and it's a velvet matte liquid lipstick. I have something on top. I'm going to show you that in a second. But this is called Gingerbread, and it's just basically my kind of color. These are like the kind of nudes I like. It's like mauve -y nude. I just think it's the most flattering on my skin tone. Okay, on to these really cool products. I, these are by Lime Crime. I've heard of Lime Crime. I've used a couple of their products before, but I'd never heard of these. These are their Diamond Crushers. Their lip toppers, they're called. The packaging is really cool. And um, they're like a liquid. They're not even a gloss, they're not a liquid lipstick, it's like kind of a cross between the two. It's just like liquid glitter that you can paint over, you can either wear them alone or put it on top of lipstick to give like this metallic iridescence, and that's what I did on top of this LA Splash color. And I used this one, which looks orange, but it comes off like really pinky. I'll show you. And it's so pretty, and that's what I put on top, and I just think it looks so good. I also got Summer and Pink Pearl. This one's really cool because it just gives like an iridescent blue glitter. So that'll look really cool on top of like something like this, I think. Oh yeah, also from LA Splash, which doesn't this look like the um, Christian Louboutin makeup? I think it's cool. Um, this is LA Splash Gold Liquid Liner. It's just a gold glitter liner. Mother Another product from Pinky Rose, another pigmented gloss. I don't know, I guess I haven't bought lip glosses in a while to know that like they're making them really pigmented these days. This one's a lot um, more nude than the other one, but also smells really good. Also from Pinky Rose, this is a glitter shadow. This is really similar to like the Stila shadows. And this one looks really cool because it's like super, oh my God, again, why am I always doing this? Super cool. Um, very pigmented gold glitter Speaking of glitter Riley Rose is like known for they have like a whole glitter bar and um, They have the gyp. This is the gypsy shrine Dark unicorn cosmetic glitter and this is a loose glitter So I can't swatch it or anything, but it's just like purpley lavender with some like iridescence to it That would be really fun some more glitter. There's this is the get lemon head get it <laughs> Um, glitter, body, it's like body, hair, face, glitter. Here's like a little pink one. It has like chunks of glitter in it. This would be really fun for just, you know, a regular day or if you have like a event where you can just like kind of be fun and wear like crazy things. I'm going to swatch it. Oh my God, there's stars in it. Look at that. That's so pretty. I don't care how old I get. Oh, this smells good too. What? I don't care how old I get. Like, this 
instantly just seeing this and playing with this just takes me back to my childhood and I'm like I want to put this all over my face and go out anyone who's around my age who like grew up in the 90s do you remember the art stuff section at Bath and Body Works and they had like the roll-on glitters those were my look in middle school okay I rolled them on my cheekbones this was like before highlighter was even a thing and I rolled it on my chest and I had the purple one engraved and that was my look here here all over my chest go to school here's also a pretty pink one that doesn't have as big of chunks as this other one I'm gonna swatch it right next to it oh so pretty why do they smell so good? Look at those. Oh, imagine those on your eyes. I cannot. Moving on to the other box, this one is filled with hair and skincare. This is the Clean It Zero by Benila Company. It is, look how cute this packaging is. I cheated and opened it. Um, look at that. Imagine that just sitting next to your sink. It's so cute. I used it to take off I was swatching the products before this video and I used it to take off some of it and it like took all like the liquid lipsticks glitter and everything off my hand it has like a light fresh clean scent and it didn't leave it like oily or anything so that one's really nice I like that I got two products by R & Co I love R & Co they have like the coolest packaging and really cool names I just recently bought their cactus shampoo so this one is the Palm Springs pre shampoo treatment mask sorry if it looks different my camera just died because I have so many products to get through but yeah so I really love R Co I'm excited to try this pre shampoo treatment mask this is something I've never tried before and this is a dry shampoo powder so it's just loose powder but it has a pump so I've only ever used aerosol before, so this should be interesting. But speaking of dry shampoo, they did send me a large Batiste and a Travel as well. This has always been one of my go-to dry shampoos. I just think it's one of the all-time best and it just happens to be one of the most affordable. Look how cool these are. This is by Bright and these are liquid hair chalk. They're paint on, wash off. I'm not going to use them right now because I don't want to get it all over my bed, but these might be pretty fun to try out because I don't really have the guts to bleach out my hair and then dye it a fun color. Also, like, I changed my mind, like, the weather, so I feel like I'll dye my hair pink and then the next day I'll be like, no, I don't want it anymore. So this is a cool way to kind of have fun and, like, paint it on. I don't know. Makes me want to invite some friends over and just have, like, an old school slumber party. I'm 28, and if my friend asked me to, like, come over and play with hair chalk and glitter, I'd be like, on my way, I'm bringing my sleeping bag. <laughs> Some more hair color stuff. This is Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in Strawberry Jam. This is a semi-permanent hair color. Um, it shows you like what your what you'd get depending uh, or what results you get depending on what your hair color is. Best to use on bleached or platinum hair, obviously, or bleached or blonde hair. Um, but it can work on light brown, but you'll just get a darker pink. I'm not gonna be putting this in my hair. I think my hair is too dark anyway, but I do have a certain blonde friend in my life that I think would really love this. So I kinda wanna use her as a guinea pig and put that on her head. This is really interesting. This is also by Bright and it is unicorn thermal color. So apparently you put it on, it's like mood, it's a, it's a washout kit, but it's like mood color. So like you put it in, it's like one color and then you activate it with heat with like a flat iron or something and then it changes to a different color so that would be very interesting to try last but not least we got some sunscreen i am a sun uh freak in the sense that i don't like it um you know it's good for my mood i like when it's out and about i don't like what's beating down on me um i am a huge advocate for spf and sun bum is one of like the nicest and most luxurious sunscreens because I don't know the packaging is really cute and I just never smelled a better smelling sunscreen oh my god it's like takes me back to like childhood when you're like on the beach and your mom's like rubbing that sunscreen all over you and you're just trying to go play in the water it smells like bananas and like coconut and it just smells so good and it makes you want to apply it which is good so this one is just oh no they're also gluten-free vegan and um, they have antioxidants in them, which is nice. So this one is just for the body. This one is a face 
stick. So you can kind of throw this in your purse, put it on your nose or like, you know, chin, forehead, whatever, on the go. Water resistant. So good if you're, you know, a runner. Not me. But that's my whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out their website. See if there's one in your area. If there is, I highly recommend you check them out. If not, peruse their website. Grab a couple of things that maybe you saw from this haul that you want or anything else that catches your eye. I'll leave the link in the description below. And check out their Instagram as well if you want some other like inspirations and kind of get a feel for like what their store looks like because it is stunning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.